Hi friends, welcome back. Today I'll be sharing some interesting information about MFDS exam, which is a diploma of member of faculty of dental surgery. Let's see how this exam can help us in our career. If you are keen to study further, do specialty training, then having this qualification may get you shortlisted against others who don't have it. It is not a compulsory requirement, but it is preferable. For academic career, MFDS or equivalent degree is essential. Example, if you want to work as a clinical trainer in dentistry. It's a token of achievement and dedication. Shows your passion towards dentistry, enhance your knowledge and skills to deliver the best treatment to our patients. It looks great under your name. Don't you think patients will like to consult a dentist who has additional qualifications? As a member of faculty, you can enjoy access to latest articles, research grants and you may also get discounts on journal subscriptions, various hotel rooms and banking benefits. And definitely it improves your prospects of getting a job. And it is an internationally recognized qualification, so if you are planning to migrate to any other country, MFDS may prove to be beneficial. Let me remind you, this is not a registration exam to practice as a dentist. So even if you pass this exam, you will have to undertake ORE or LDS to practice as a dentist in UK. I personally think that it is the best time to appear for this exam. Due to COVID, other exams like LDS, ORE are on hold. So why not utilize this time and with the same preparation, you may pass part 1 of MFDS. And you will save a lot of money as there is no need to travel or stay in a hotel. I think except for UAE, everywhere else it is held remotely. Please check on the website for the latest information. For MFDS Part 1, the exam fees is about 535 to 540 pounds and you are eligible to give Part 1 after passing BDS. You will need to submit a tested copy of your degree certificate and if you are an international candidate, you will also need to provide NARIC certificate. After passing both parts of MFDS, you will have to pay an annual subscription fee to the college to use those letters after your name. It is about 100 to 155 pounds. This exam is conducted by RCS England and Edinburgh. There are slight differences in the number of MCQs and the exam fees. So please check out the respective websites for the accurate information. I have attached the links of both the colleges in the description box below. I think the online exam was very well organized and the best part is it was so convenient. I suggest a day before the exam keep everything ready as stated in the email by the RCS. Download the requested app in the phone, check your laptop is as per the requirements, internet connection is good because that's your responsibility, plan which room you will be taking your exam, ensure a comfortable sitting place. Keep your ID proof ready, check how you will be setting your camera on the phone such that you should be appropriately seen and you will have to show the entire room before the exam starts. So make sure there is no study material in the room, any books, poster, notes, paper, etc. On the day of your exam, get up well before time, have a good breakfast because it's a lengthy exam. Be on time, you will first get registered for the exam and then wait for the exam to start. So you will have to complete 150 questions in about 3 hours. The exam will be divided into 2 halves. There will be a break of 10 minutes in the middle. So the first part will be 1.5 an hour and then there will be a break of 10 minutes and then the next 1.5 an hour. Note that you will not be able to change your answers in between the parts. I can absolutely understand how it feels initially the day you book your exam and when you don't know where to start studying. That's why I have shared my study plan which really helped me. I hope even you find it useful. For more information about the exam, study material, registration as a hygienist or therapist and much more, join me on FB on this journey as an overseas dentist in UK. I have attached the links in the description box below. So, did you find this video helpful? Drop your valuable comments below. And please let me know if you want to hear more from me by subscribing to Meet Your Teeth. Because based on your interest, I will be encouraged to make further videos. Thanks for watching.